Welcome back to Wonderfully Lost, your home for all things travel. Today, we're heading over to stunning Singapore. There's so much for everyone to do there. Places to go, amazing structures to see, and delicious food to eat. Keep watching and start planning your journey to one of the most epic travel destinations in the world. So, come on, let's get to it. What to do in Singapore. Singapore is a bustling city-state in Southeast Asia, known for its modern architecture, diverse culture and delicious food. If you're wondering what a city-state is, it's a sovereign state that consists of a single city. Despite popular belief, it does not belong to either China or Japan. It is a separate entity. Other examples of city-states are Monaco and the Vatican. Singapore is known for its modern architecture, cultural diversity, gardens, foods and shopping. In addition, it's one of the safest cities in the world, making it a prime tourist destination. From its gorgeous greenery and year-round summer weather to its luxury shopping and street food, you'll fall in love with the Garden City from the minute you step foot in its epic airport. This airport has flower gardens, a free movie theatre and even a swimming pool. Once you make it out of their really cool airport, here are the most popular activities to check out in Singapore. Number 1. Marina Bay Sands This iconic hotel is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Singapore. Even if you're not staying at this hotel, you can take a stroll along the waterfront promenade or visit the observation deck for stunning views of the city skyline. Number 2. Explore Gardens by the Bay this award-winning garden in the heart of downtown Singapore features 1.5 million varieties of plants and flowers from around the world, along with spectacular light shows in the evenings. The massive green space built into the city centre is reminiscent of New York's Central Park, but on steroids. Number three, shop on Orchid Road. Shoppers, get ready, because you will find your paradise on Orchid Road. It's the premier shopping district in Singapore, with countless high-end stores and shopping malls to choose from. Begin at Tang's, Singapore's oldest and original department store. Then head down the road to Ion Orchid, one of Singapore's largest malls. Hopefully, you packed an extra bag or suitcase to take all of your new purchases home in. Number four, next up, walk through Chinatown. Singapore's Chinatown is a vibrant and bustling neighbourhood with colourful shop houses, street markets and traditional Chinese temples. Number five, visit Sentosa Island. This man-made island is home to several tourist attractions, including Universal Studios Singapore, the SEA Aquarium and the Sentosa Merlion. Number six, explore the Singapore Zoo. The Singapore Zoo is home to over 300 species of animals, including orangutans, tigers and elephants. Number seven, visit the National Gallery Singapore. This art museum showcases the best of Southeast Asian art, along with international exhibitions and events. Number eight, check out the Merlion. The Merlion, a half-lion, half-fish mythical creature, is one of the most iconic symbols in Singapore. You can find a large Merlion statue at Merlion Park. Get your phone out. This is one of the most iconic photo ops in all of Singapore. Number nine, take a stroll through the Botanic Gardens, which is nearby to Orchid Road. This is one of only three Botanic Gardens around the world designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. With over 160 years of history and a stunning collection of tropical plants. Number 10, finally, enjoy the local food scene. Singapore is famous for its diverse and delicious food, from street food to Michelin-starred restaurants. Try local favourites like chicken rice, laksa and chilli crab among others. We'll talk more about what to eat next. What to eat in Singapore? Singapore is a food lover's paradise with a vibrant and diverse food scene that showcases a mix of Chinese, Malay, Indian and other international cuisines. Here are some dishes you won't want to miss. Hyannese chicken rice is a must-try dish in Singapore. It's a simple but flavourful meal made with poached chicken, fragrant rice cooked in chicken broth and served with chilli sauce and ginger sauce. You'll be coming back for more and googling how to make this at home. Try one of Singapore's most iconic dishes, chilli crab. Chilli crab is a seafood dish that is cooked in a spicy tomato-based sauce. It is typically eaten with fried mantau, buns, to soak up the sauce. Have some water nearby if you aren't used to spicy dishes. 
Another Singaporean favourite is laksa. Laksa is a spicy noodle soup made with a rich coconut milk base, rice noodles, fish cakes, shrimp and chicken, then flavoured with a blend of herbs and spices. It's a popular breakfast or lunch dish and perfect for a midday shopping break. Satay is skewered and grilled meat served with peanut sauce, onions and cucumber. It's a popular street food in Singapore and you'll find plenty of vendors serving this up for late night bar goers. Sha Kui Tao is another popular dish in Singapore. It's a stir-fried noodle dish with a variety of ingredients including eggs, Chinese sausage, bean sprouts and prawns. This is a super filling and delicious meal. Lastly, make sure to try some nasi lemak. This fragrant coconut rice dish is typically served with fried chicken, fried fish or curry and topped with peanuts, fried anchovies and a spicy sambal chilli sauce. These are just a few examples of the many delicious dishes you can try in Singapore. Visitors are delighted with the variety and mix of flavours present in Singaporean cuisine. You'll find dishes here that you can't get anywhere else in the world. Where to stay in Singapore? When you are planning your Singapore vacation, figuring out where to stay is one of the most important decisions. It'll have a major impact on what you do and what vibe your vacation has. Here are some locations you can consider. One of the most popular areas for tourists to stay is Marina Bay. This area is known for its luxury hotels, stunning skyline views and proximity to attractions like Marina Bay Sands and Gardens by the Bay. Another area to consider is Orchid Road, which we showed you earlier. If you are looking for easy access to Singapore's epic shopping district, then this is where you'll want to be. Clark Quay is an area of Singapore known for its lively nightlife scene. You'll find no shortage of bars, restaurants and clubs here. If your main goal in visiting Singapore is the nightlife, or if you want to be able to get back to your hotel quickly after a night out, then check out the hotels in Clark Quay. Another option to consider is Sentosa Island. This is a man-made resort island just off the coast of Singapore with plenty of attractions like Universal Studios, beaches and luxury hotels. Don't worry, you'll still be connected to mainland Singapore via the Sentosa Express monorail. You can also take a bus or taxi or even a bicycle across the Sentosa Gateway. Please note that there is a fee for entrance to Sentosa Island, which is between 2 to $5 depending on your mode of entry. This fee was waived during the pandemic but will be reinstated in April 2023. Make sure to pound that subscribe button so you'll know when more amazing travel videos like this are dropped. If you enjoyed this Singapore Travel Guide video, you'll probably like our Kyoto City Guide, linked here.